So the Doncaster Mears Hurdle is next in. And this is over two miles, it's a grade two. And the top one is the head wrecker, Paul Rhodes, Aiming Earth, Darren Thompson, Sally Jones of Paul Rhodes, Unlimited Power, Joshua Sutherland, Orange Eyes, Molly at Surfer, Soggy Bottom, David Robertson, and Winter Queen for Jim Murray. So just seven then in this. The rain's coming down now, and away they go. And the head wrecker, just the leader. They took the first and out jump there by Soggy Bottom. And soggy Bottom, all the jokes we did about Soggy Bottom, we did them last week, so we won't do them anymore today. Low down shot there of this field. Doncaster now, of course, with Doncaster Hurdle and Soggy Bottom as a leader. Pro Unlimited Power second, Winter Queen and the Head Wrecker, Sally James. Those two pretty similar looking horses in similar colours, well, identical colours actually, and almost identical horses as well. Aiming Earth is just the back mark at this early stage, but Soggy Bottom's in front. They come down to flight two. And over that they go with Soggy Bottom, the leader, Winter Queen and the Head Wrecker disputing second. Sally James is third, Orange Eyes is fourth, and Unlimited Power, and finally, Aiming Earth is just the back marker at this stage of the race then. So, over number three they go. And we'll save me over that one as well. With Socky Bottom showing the way home in the rain. To the Head Wrecker and Winter Queen, and Sally James in a gap of a length or so. To Orange Eyes in the yellow sleeves as we get a look on the inside of the track now. Aiming Earth has just gone past unlimited power as they take the fourth, and that's half the jumping done. But they've still got ten furlongs to race. And Soggy Bottom's in front. And the roads pair together. Sally Jones on the outside, Head Wrecker on the inside. And Winter Queen and Orange Eyes after that one. And Aiming Earth and unlimited power are still at the back. Some of the top stables in this. And Soggy Bottom is the leader. Sally James second, and the head wrecker of Winter Queen, Orange Eyes next, and then Unlimited Power and Aiming Earth the back two. It's been pretty much the same, although Unlimited Power is now starting to make a bit of a forward move around the outside as they come down to flight five, and they will skip over that one. Just three more to take now, and Soggy Bottom's in the lead by about three lengths to Winter Queen, who's now second. Then comes the Head Wrecker and Limited Power going around the outside of Sally James. Then Orange Eyes, Aiming Earth is just being pushed along to keep in touch as they make their way towards the final five furlongs of the final three flights. And Soggy Bottom from the Head Wrecker. Then comes Sally James, then Winter Queen, then Unlimited Power. These are clear of Orange Eyes and Aiming Earth, who've got a lot to do. But it's Soggy Bottom come down to the four furlong pole and racing down towards the third last flight. Soggy Bottom's in the lead from the Head Wrecker in second. Then Unlimited Power, then Sally James, then Winter Queen trying to get into it. Orange Eyes is now getting closer. And also Aiming Earth is beginning to run on as well. They're down towards the third last. Did these leaders go too soon? Over that one they go, and Soggy Bottom still clear by three to the head wrecker in second then winter queen and unlimited power sally james is tucked away behind them then comes orange eyes and aiming earth is now back in shot over the second last they go and it's soggy bottom they've got to get to soggy bottom from sally james is now going into second then the head wrecker and unlimited power winter queen surely between these now soggy bottom down on the final flights so a short running over the final flight they go and now sally james and unlimited power sweep to the front it's sally james on the inside it's unlimited power on the outside it's roads and southern in a ding dong again and it's unlimited power to take it from Sally James in second. And Soggy Bottom may have on for third. That new post comes up quick after that final flight. And I know had a ding dong battle on the straight at some tracks there, but as it was, unlimited power did have unlimited power and took it on the line for Joshua Southern and Sally James second for Paul Rhodes Soggy Bottom for David Robertson long time leader was third the head wrecker Paul Rhodes fourth and Winter Queen for Jim Murray was fifth